Okay, first off, we did not need to show the whole mess here. I'm putting those groceries away. And this is just a little bit of dinner that I was having. Some Nest Quick with the protein. So this vlog is very special. Rob is gonna make me peanut butter and Nutella sandwich. So that's really exciting. Wait, what? <laughs> he said he wants to go and do it right now. I think you make them the best. You should make one for all three of us. The gym's open back up in our complex. And I'm sore, are you sore? Not as sore, maybe tomorrow. Cause you went today. Yeah, I'm a little bit sore. Everything on me is sore. Ow! Ah! All oh. I know is shirtless pick for my birthday. Yeah, we going shirtless for our birthday. Let's just say, just give us like literally a month is all we need. A month? Is that? Are you sure? I only need a month. This is a month of vigorous everyday hard work. Pumping iron. You have better genetics than us? Yeah. I did a two a day today. So how many did you do? One a day. Cause like when you're weak, you need to do more. That was good. I actually am pretty weak. Ooh. I want to shout out to this guy. Chap Laura Ross. Funny guy. This guy's funny. We just stumbled upon him. Sometimes we just be watching, sitting here watching random videos. What are you wearing right now? <laughs> Carhartt on your feet, Ryan. <laughs> um, these are my suey coat. Oh, they're yours? Yeah, these are real comfortable. Um, I kind of got like kid sizes for these ones, but um, they still fit me. Interesting. Do you like them? Yeah, I think they look cool on you. Yeah, I picked these up about how long would you say? Maybe a few months ago. Yeah, like maybe four months ago. About four. Cool design. They look kind of hospitally, but once you break them in, they're really comfortable. You should try getting a pair. Yeah, they look kind of hard to get. You must have had to like order them online or something. Yeah, I ordered them online. They came in. Speaking of feet, Rob socks. He really be at it. This I don't even know where. Vlogging we, today. So you really be rocking them like that. Here's the thing with me. I don't just sock the top. I sock the top. Ow! You sock the sock? You walk the sock. I walk the sock. What's up guys? I woke up today with some funny DMs that I got after I posted my closet tour video. In my closet tour, I specifically said, hey, I have these size 12 shoes. If anybody wants them, DM me. We can either trade them. You can buy them from me. Just let me know. I've had a handful of different people DM me saying, oh, yo, can I get those in a size eight? And my buddy's a size 11. I'd appreciate it if you could give me those. Size 8, size 11. I said I have a size 12. Oh. Some of you guys must think I own like a shoe store. Like, yeah, let me go get that in the back. I only have one of that shoe, but I've had multiple people, even with the Supreme and Bape shirt that I was going to give away. Yo, you got a size small and a size medium too? Where did, what's the logic on that? I showed the one shirt with the one size that I wear, and I was saying these are the ones I'm giving away. Many of you guys also with the other shoes, yo, you got a size 10 in this, a size 12 in that. Everybody wears one size shoe. Why would I have all these different sizes? And then some of you guys talk to talk where I ask, yo, you want these shoes? Cool, this is the price I can do on them. Hey man, I can't break the bank like that. Serious increase only, okay? Or just go to my Depop. I'm not answering questions there. The prices are non-negotiable. There was one kid that I think would buy it from me, but most of you guys just be capping. If I'm not giving it away and I'm selling something, just come prepared. And now Noah's gonna look at his hypnotism video. Everybody saying the same thing on mine that they said on Rob's. This is fake. Uh, luckily, Rob and Ryan both broke it down. Everything's pretty much been said of what the experience was like, but I do have specific parts that I want to address where people was like, why did he peel the banana when he said it was a burrito? Why was Noah scared of the hamster? If I had a hamster, I'd be like, oh my god. I will walk you through what I saw in my head and kind of what I was feeling. So everyone always asks me, Rob, who was your celebrity crush? Oh! <laughs> Is that what they're <laughs> saying? <laughs> okay, nobody asked me that. For those wondering. <laughs> <laughs> or everyone who's DMing me about asking who my celebrity crush is, is Georgia Smith, okay? And when I say immaculate singer, you can just look at her and like, she just looks so good. She sings very well. She's super chill. The way her lip gloss just sits on her lip. Turn the camera, look at that. <laughs> and for her to just sing and then I'm able to then feel something, this goes with all artists. Bro, artists have a superpower. Now, when you say feel something, what are you feeling exactly? <laughs> Just like, you know, you feel music. I appreciate music so much. Different types of music. But when you see somebody special, just play a little clip. <laughs> Come on. Didn't you feel that? You're just like, she's captivating. Am I wrong? I think that you're validated in saying this that. This is my opinion, right? Music and performers, I just found it so interesting. And she's very talented and I'm attracted to her. She's also 24 years old. She's just my age, so. You should do Georgia it. Smith, if you're, I have the check. You have the check now. You won't do it right now. DM Georgia Smith? Yeah. Let me fix my. <laughs> What's your pickup line? You have to be special through the phone. Cause she was messing with Drake. Yeah, so her ex was Drake. <laughs> Um, and now Rob's trying to take over. <laughs> Everybody is great in their own way. Drake is great, but he's not no Rob. He's not Rob though. So I go to Georgia Smith. Georgia Lopez. That has a ring to it. Whoa. She has a verified check mark. So do I. Georgia Smith. What's my message to Georgia Smith? How does she make you feel? Um, say I finally found. Hey, love the music. Let's just do it. Hey, love your music. 
No. She hears that a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Same way she's probably told she looks really good. She sounds really good. You gotta stick out. Okay, yeah, she looks good. The lyrics and the vocals and the, the way she does, she's just cool. Hey, you're cool. Hey, comma, you're cool. DMing a hundred celebrities, seeing if they respond. Hey, you're so cool. Love the music. That's it. I like your nonchalant hand movements to reinforce the concept that it's so nonchalant, yeah. you tone. Talking to another human. Emojis or not? I was thinking like the fire, because she's hot. She's trying to give Rob some tips. <laughs> I just said that. Hey, you're, you're so cool. Love the music. Show them. Let them see you're not capping. Okay, you said, hey, you're so cool. Love the music. To the one and only Georgia Smith underscore. Mm. My girl. How many followers she have? 3.3 mil. Oh, that's not She's still a human, though. She's still a human. How many followers you have? I have 200,000. Have you lost any since? I've only been gaining. I'm up next. You go through your DMs. I do. Me and Ryan have a million. I still check my DMs. Mm -hmm. Georgia Smith, if you're watching this, but I just wanted to show my appreciation to Georgia Smith and the artist that she is. All right, guys. So, guys and girls. Guys and <laughs> girls, ladies, not. Not that F word. We don't say that F word over here anymore. Well, let's watch this part where apparently I thought the cup was floating and everybody thought that I was completely BSing it because I looked at Zach as he was holding the cup. Oh no, let's check out the clip first. Bro, what is happening? I feel like I was following the cup. When you saw your cup, did you see him holding the cup or did you just see the cup floating? I just remember seeing the thing floating. I don't think I necessarily saw the cup. I saw a blue light. I saw something just- Maybe you see a cup tilt and you're like, you want to expect something to be where the mouth would be. So you look there or something. I don't know. Guys, this was very hard for me to even put together watching myself in this whatever world I was placed in. And I noticed I was like touching stuff. I was laughing after everything. And I didn't even know what that necessarily meant. So I Googled like, like laughing and after every statement, et cetera, et cetera. And what I found was, I think I was doing that because I was in a very confused and nervous state. So like, I guess when I saw Drake quote unquote, I was just generally nervous in my experience. So that's how I was acting. Cause like, when do you get to see Drake? Rob, when you saw Drake, you weren't necessarily like scared or nothing. You were more just like, oh, what's up man? Yeah. But I was more shy. I was really like, oh shoot, that's Drake. And, and that was also your trance self too. That wasn't you. Correct. When Rob went, I was actually very nervous of like, oh my my gosh, what's gonna happen to me, what's gonna happen to me. I think I had put in more thoughts of being extra scared, timid, shy, nervous before I started. So subconsciously, I think that was already in my head. So whenever he put me into these scenarios, I was already a little bit more guarded up throughout my whole experience, which I think came across pretty apparent. I think people are missing the point of like, you're not actually aware during this time. It's not like sleep and you're fully awake and all of a sudden now you can't see anything. That's not what happens to you. And it was funny seeing the comments, seeing people try to justify. You can tell this is BS because this look. And they were putting timestamps and stuff. Next time you open your eyes, you're gonna see me holding a banana. However, this is no longer a banana, but this banana has now become the world's most delicious burrito. This banana has now suddenly transformed into the world's most delicious burrito and you can't wait to try it. Go and let yourself one, two, three, awake, eyes open. I'm good. So I think you ordered some food earlier, right? Oh, and, this, and this came with it. Why are you touching my food? Oh, sorry, yeah, but I just want to make it easy. Make it easy, yeah. What did they put in here? Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is hard to look at. It's funny because no one really be like that. Why are you touching my food? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people made comments. Even Zach said after the experience was over saying, it was weird. I expect you to bite into the banana because I said it was a burrito. What I saw was a burrito wrapped in tin foil. So I thought I was unrappaging uh, the food and then I was taken with a bite. I guess because he said burrito, I guess I was supposed to say that, but my brain happened to put the whole tin foil around it. So I felt like I was peeling that back. Like I said, at the end of this video, things were just popping up and just happening. I think because also in the beginning, I was able to recall my name. And I remember before, I guess I dropped down into the first sleep, there was a little bit of second thoughts in my head of like, uh, is this gonna work? Wait, I'm not gonna forget anything. I'm gonna remember everything. I said a couple like things to myself to try to maybe fight it. So I think that's why when it, the name thing, I was thinking, I was thinking instead of you forgot your name, you forgot your name. I was like, no, I know it. I know my name, I know my name. And I guess I brought it to it. But then the more I listened to his words and followed what he was telling me to believe, that's when as the video got on, I was able to get further into that world. But definitely very scary seeing myself. I definitely, 
definitely looked drunk, quote unquote, people were saying, and maybe high. And I think that could have been explained in the way that he said he did this to two dudes. When they did it, they looked like they were high the whole experience. And after it was over, he said, I don't know why you guys were acting like that. And they said, oh, I thought it was gonna feel like when I was high. So when I heard that term, I also assumed, oh, when I do this, I'm probably gonna feel like I'm loopy or droopy. So I think there was a whole bunch of things after seeing Rob go into his, his state that I was like, this might happen to me. Everyone has their own experience, mm -hmm. the way they perceive it. And that's just how mine was. I think it made it funny. Right. Everybody commented though. So they upload to Rob's, they upload to Noah's. Rhinos is next. Hmm. It was harder for Ryan. We explained in the other video. I'm gonna try it again. You just have to accept it. All right, so we're not gonna show you guys everything because you guys saw the video. One of the comments that I found, great editing. You almost had me fooled. Just check the skip. A second here and two seconds there. Okay guys, so the video that we posted of me, mine was actually 35 minutes long and I was like, oh hell no. Like I like to edit videos in a sense of if I were you guys watching the video, how can I watch it to stay entertained all the way through? There was a lot of things I said and there was a lot of moments where I was literally tripped out and didn't even speak for four. 40 seconds when he was asking me a question. So why would I keep in 40 seconds of me? The whole point of the cuts is to just keep the video interesting, keep it going. And there were some parts where there was other things that you guys didn't see that he did to me. And I said some out-of-pocket stuff. For myself, I'm not gonna display that or let people see that. So yeah, there were moments where I had to cut things out. And they, Ryan can attest to that. Obviously, I'm not gonna say what happened, but embarrassing things that we could not put on a video. And I was like, this is insane. So sorry if there's cuts. Sorry that we aren't like some YouTubers just hit record and then post the raw clip. Sorry that I like to spice it up. It's fake, SMH. You want to say anything about that? There's a few more of those okay. I want to find. Yeah, the, the whole fake thing, if it didn't happen to you, I understand. You watch this and you're just like, huh? His social media links are in the description of the video. Go to his TikTok, go to his YouTube channel, watch a whole bunch of his videos. He is a master at this. Like, it's a skill that he has. And he was able to just make it me basically lucid dream while I was quote unquote awake. In seconds. Doof, and then you were out. Bro, can I explain how he did that? Man, I don't know. He did. Focal point, look at a thing and perfect sentences. This one got 147 likes. I can't tell if this is real or fake. And then one person said, dude, it's real, blah, 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 blah. Bro, hypnosis is scary, but I'll never do it, but this seems fake. I knew it was real once I saw Rob drink that hot sauce and didn't feel it. And then someone says, but it might not have been hot sauce though. They might have filled it with something else. I promise you we're not going to the They're just looking for reasons to yeah. think it's fake. That's what we did, I was like, if he drinks his hot sauce, to me in person, I was like, this is gonna be crazy. And he did, that's why it was, that's what, that was funny. When I saw Rob, you drinking that damn sriracha, I was like, dude, let's get him some water because this is terrible. It's completely fake. They paid him to put on a show, just like a magician for video to get views. What do we get out of that? This isn't a prank, this is hypnosis. If you look this up, this stuff's real. We wanted to find out for ourselves. Yeah, we're not trying to prank nobody. We do a better prank than that. And I just think it literally did not work on me because of my own problems mentally. What purpose do we have of faking it? Yeah, for what? what would be the benefit? Why not fake something else? If we could fake this, I would have said, let's do some crazy stuff. Have me do this, this, and this. Why would I say, let me say a hamster in my Hand. And they'd be so confident that, oh, it's fake. Gotcha. Nice try. It's fake. Hypnosis doesn't work. And the only people saying that are the ones who've never actually seen people get hypnotized before. And if you guys come to this video for the first time, you might not even know he does this. You might just think this is a random guy and you're like, what? I, I can see. But if you look up him, bro, this guy is legit. This one, at 48 seconds, he falls asleep before he even says sleep. Just saying maybe this is cat. 48 seconds. We, we debunking it because we go into the timestamps. Here we go. Amazing. 45, 46, you get ready. Three, sleep. Oh, that, sorry, what? Huh? That looked like I fell asleep the he exact- falls asleep before he even says sleep. When you were closing your eyes. He said focus on the bead on my wrist. My eyes aren't closed right there. I'm looking down. He picked one bead on my hand and said, stare at this. That's right. So you get ready. Three, it looks like I went exactly on the time. And in that moment, did you just literally fall asleep? Is that what it felt like or what the... I don't think I fell asleep. I just did what he said to do. He kept telling me, you're going to fall asleep on the count of five. So I was anticipating to go that direction. And then I think when I clicked down, I was out of it. Do you even remember the second when he pulled your arm and you fell down? I remember like when he was saying to look at the thing. I remember that, like looking at my hand and yeah. it was bright and that's it. I didn't even remember what I really did throughout the whole thing. It's like a dream where if like you're able
able to kind of piece things together. Oh yeah, and then that happened in my dream. Oh, and then that. But now I had a whole video to watch and be like, okay, that's exactly what happened. I, it, everything pieces together. When I was in that state, I didn't really know. I can't tell you like, oh yeah, I thought about this and then it was just happening. Could you, you see that like elements when I was in my world? Like, oh yeah, he's definitely in Oh yeah, yeah. That's not the Noah that I talked to on the daily basis. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You were just out of it. And that's, you're just in a trance. It makes sense. I act the way I acted because that was my world. That's what was mm. going on in my head. That's what you believed in your head. Because everyone has different brains, right? If I like hamsters, that means everyone does. Oh. Because I freaked out about the hamsters. That means I faked it. Right. Oh. Everyone likes the same thing. Yeah. And when you're like in an unconscious dream state, hypnosis state, you're supposed to act completely normal. And Zach went invincible. If somebody went invisible for me, I would be scared and freak out. He wasn't like a, here I am. Ha -ha, and then he's gone. It wasn't that. You were looking at something and then you weren't. And you weren't. And then you, you see that and then you were there. Because that's what you believe in that moment because you have been guided to believe that. He didn't say, I disappear here. Where am I? It's not like I was being robbed my normal state and I see you there and you move around. I'm like, dude, I can see you moving around. It's not hypnotism at that point. It's just pretending. I don't know. Yeah, because you faked yours. Yeah, I, I faked mine. Yeah. We all faked it. People <laughs> having a real hard time with the banana thing. How are you going to peel a burrito? Blah, 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 blah. But you said it was tinfoil in I your mind. I thought I saw tinfoil. Foil. And I think everyone's saying this is people that haven't been hypnotized or Yo, the only people saying that have never been hypnotized. So that just already goes to show. Drake sucks performing live. He's terrible. You ever been to a Drake concert? One well, now. And then everybody was like, Rob could ask Drake anything in the world. When do you wake up? That's gotta be fake. Right now I wouldn't have asked him that. I don't know what I was thinking. You weren't conscious. I was not conscious of what I was doing or what I was asking. In your dream, you hang out with famous people all the time. You don't say like, I don't even remember what I say to famous people in my dream. I remember a little piece of it. I don't know. That Everyone is capable of being hypnotized. And people that just don't believe it, maybe, are just hypnotized into not believing it. And again, you never had it done to you, so of course you're not gonna understand it or believe it, but uh, to all the real ones out there who actually know that it's real, shout out to you guys. I hope everyone gets to experience it one day. I think that would be that's amazing. the main reason why we're trying to justify it. We don't need to be sitting here, it's real because this is that. The hypnotism is deep. Like, it's deeper than just the magic, let me wave this in front of you and you're hypnotized. It's deeper than what you see in the videos and in the movies. And you'll see it like in some of the videos that we post on here we go into more depth on what hypnotism is and how your brain is really powerful and can dictate your life and that's kind of one of the message we want to push across too even he was saying yeah everyone just thinks it's fake and that's all the comments i get and no one really gets to see it for what it actually is and we're here trying to show you guys what it is for what it actually is yeah we're showing you the fun stuff first and you're gonna see the information you'll video. see the informational side this reminds me of what we were discussing earlier the hash slinging slasher from spongebob how the slinging slasher was very scary to everyone and everyone was like oh god it's just the same way people think, oh, hypnotism is fake, until you actually see it in the flesh. You're like, oh, it's not actually what I thought it was. It's actually real, blah, blah, blah. Before you jump to, look at the banana. He wouldn't have done that. That doesn't look like it. It's never happened to you before. Yeah, it might come across weird or not. This would have happened this way. I would have done it like this. I would have reacted like this. Well, let's just wait till you get hypnotized and then you can be like, oh yeah, okay, it's real. My fault. Uh, I just didn't know. It kind of uh, helps to live life just having an open mind about different things. I think people are way too quick to assume everything. You just do stuff on a whim because other people are doing it or saying it. Don't be so just easy to believe things. Ugh. And I've said this before. When I first seen this guy, I was like, this is not real. What is this? The guy's ready to I was like, what the, what is it? And then I was like, wait, let I mean, hypnotism is a thing for a reason. It's been around. Why don't I really just sit down and educate myself and watch videos and see what it actually is? And then that led me to the point of me being open enough to being hypnotized. You could change your thought. Probably. The same thing with, it's staged. Everyone goes along with it on when they do it on stages and stuff. It's just people going along because they want to keep with the joke. This reminds me of when, I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about, was the moon landing faked or not? And he said, well, there's actual hardware that went up into the sky. And if that was fake, that would need to come down down somewhere at some point and it would take more effort to fake it than it probably would to literally just go to the moon same with hypnotism okay so everyone's in on that on the stage <laughs> everyone that you talk to just immediately does it and goes with it and it's just a big gag that's probably more effort than the concept of hypnotism i can't give any more energy because it's like bro it's real if you don't believe it i genuinely feel bad for you or probably like 11 or something and just don't want to believe it but hey man i would suggest doing it it didn't even work on me i'm like what well, did work to an extent we've been having vivid dreams very vivid i don't know if that's from the hypnotism like too vivid i think zach broke us a little bit because i've been seeing some weird stuff zach come back we need you i want to come back i want to try it again ryan has to get his bro but my heart was beating so fast every time bro i need to like and that's just it. how powerful it is like why would you be that nervous that's how powerful it is 
Like, it's a real thing. Me feeling nervous before it happened made me end up nervous in my little world. And I, f I remember the feeling of me, like, coming out of it. And I was like, it felt hazy. Like, hey, this is now real. Okay, this is real. When That's just, how it felt. Like, when we were wrapping up the video for you, I was like, wait, is this the real Rob now? I didn't even know if you were back to normal. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to keep going until it happens to me. I want to meet JB, damn it. Yeah, that's what everybody wants to see. That would be crazy. Take me. And Whoa. What? Hey. And Drake. We need to pick a list of celebrities. Oh, yeah. Chantel Jeffries. Georgia Smith. We do it again. Part two. I'm down. Oh, that'd be lit. Or I can just think really hard tonight and try to dream of her in my dreams. Well, you already do that every night. Ooh. Not every night, Ryan. How's that Nutella peanut butter sandwich coming along? The one that Noah was supposed to make? Yeah. Noah was going to make it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Who's making them? One of y'all said y'all had it. Oh, no. How about? <laughs> I'm hypnotized again. <laughs> Zach said go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sleepy. Drifting, floating. Ooh. What was his lines? <laughs> Sleeping, drifting, floating. And everybody, everybody kept saying everything's gonna go back to normal. However, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. You're doing great. Those they, words, they, though, they do work. Bo, if I could hit the affirmation, if I could hypnotize somebody. There was something a funny comment. It was something yeah. like, uh, "He roasted Rhino and Rob when he said, and now when you wake back up, Rhino and Rob are no longer attractive." <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, guys, this was hard for me to watch back mine. Usually, I go back and watch the vlogs, but like mine, I don't watch that one back. Yeah, when Rob's video was done, he didn't watch it for the first day. He was like, I can't watch this. I would say, try to get hypnotized, and then maybe you... Then will. you'll see. Then you'll see. And he was just smart. He was a smart guy. It was cool to hang around with him. Reading these two books a day. I mean, a, a week. When's the last time you read a full book? An entire book about anything. Recently, it was uh, it was a shorter book. It was called Make Your Bed. How long was it? It's pretty small. <laughs> It was like make your bed. <laughs> that really what type of book is that? Oh, let me get it. He said make your bed. Rob, we made an actual book, not a children's <laughs> nursery rhyme. It's about the little things that can change your life. <laughs> make give me this. No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> let me explain. The author of this book, look at number one New York best time seller. Yeah, they all say that. Admiral William H. McRaven. He's a U.S. Navy retired. So we're not even in it right now. But he's been through it, so he knows. Make your bed. Little things that can change your life and maybe the world. Don't get mad when I change the world. They don't get mad when I change the world. Okay, well, let me see how much page. Oh! Mercy, Ryan. Look like a captain underpants. <laughs> I swear it's only like 100. It's, guys, it's not about how much pages it is. It's, it's how much information you retain. 125 pages. But look at it. The font's pretty big. <laughs> Are they pictures in there? Mine's kind of read. Make your bed, it seems so simple, but that gets your day started and puts you on the right track for that day. So imagine if you did a lot of little things like that. Follow me. Get out of here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. No, because I was streaming today and I messed it up on stream. You know, I'm gonna give it to you. I read this book like four months ago, so it's worn off. I need to read it again. <laughs> I'll give it to you because this is not bad. Think about it. This is my aesthetic. I go for the more just <laughs> messy with clothes hanging around. <laughs> All right, let's go to your room then. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay. See, Ryan can't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my bed's made. Okay, it is made. Okay, there's cookies up, bro. Who? <laughs> Who put these in here? Dude, did you put something in my room? Did you no. cut your cookies up? I was nibbling like an hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I, I could see Ryan in bed just. <laughs> Or right here. <laughs> Why don't just finish one at a time? Little safe bite so you don't choke when you're laying down. <laughs> it was like these are old and stale as hell, so I like only bit the middle parts of them. Ooh. These were all folded, and I just unfolded them because I was looking for a new shirt. Yeah. Somebody came and messed it all up. Hey, your guys' closet tours, you guys did pants, and I didn't do my pants. Man. Anyways, <laughs> Ryan's gonna clean his room. <laughs> and on that note, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, any last words to say? All right, peace. <laughs>